From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. Dr. Makia Forbes is the top infectious disease expert in the country. She's telling the Tribune that the country is now in a third wave of the coronavirus, and the numbers appear to bear that out. For the weekend, 41 cases on Thursday, 62 on Friday, another 40 on Saturday. Sunday's number's not released as yet. That's 143 total cases for that three-day period, following almost 200 the week before. 104 of the latest cases are here in the capital, including 48 of the 62 cases reported on Friday. Cases reported in Grand Bahama, Long Island, Eleuthera, and Exuma also during the period. There are now 45 persons in hospital being treated. Four of them are in the intensive care unit. There's been four more confirmed deaths, taking that total to 194 now. Dr. Forbes says Bahamans have let their guard down, and that has contributed to the spike in the cases, some of which have been linked to the workplace and travel. She says, undoubtedly, we are not following the public health measures. Meantime, vaccinations continue. The island's continuing to roll out over the weekend. It resumes in the capital today after a weekend break. And more sites have been added. The Tribune has the list of the sites and of the persons eligible. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police are now releasing more information on that Jerome Avenue shooting incident from last week, which left six men dead. Their identities have been released now. A woman and child injured in the same incident, both in hospital. And Police Commissioner Rowe says things have changed. Even in the criminal world, persons not abiding by their own code and one of those codes is where you have females and children the rival individuals typically do not engage but in recent times we have noticed that it is becoming more and more despicable the behavior of these individuals and it shows you the level of disrespect that they have even among themselves the police are still looking for the shooters another fatal accident on the sc boodle highway in abaco has left another man dead on that island police say it was a head-on collision in the area of treasure key last thursday still not ready for business sandals resort cable beach is staying closed until at least november details of the day's top stories in the tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, partly sunny and hot today. Highs in the mid-80s, 84 at Freeport, 85 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a low tide now, the next higher on 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines, the world watching today. Closing arguments are scheduled to begin in the high-profile George Floyd trial in Minnesota. The country is bracing for possible demonstrations following the verdict, and U.S. authorities are dealing with even more gun violence in that country. The world has now passed 3 million coronavirus deaths. There's still some problem areas, including Brazil and India, where more than 200,000 cases were reported for a single day again yesterday. India has confirmed more than a million cases in the past week. Meantime, some countries are reporting vaccination progress and are working on reopening their tourism industries now, including Greece, which is now allowing visitors from several countries, including the U.S., conditionally. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week, Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. John Quo Jones getting ready for the WNBA season. But before that, some unfinished business in Europe found out what her team did. Steve Gardner is off to an impressive start to his 2021 track and field season. Read about that in the Tribune Sports. Updates on Buddy Heal and DeAndre Ayton in the NBA. The Suns lost to the Spurs over the weekend. The Kings won last night over Dallas. He had only two points in that game. You get the latest on Jazz Chisholm and the Marlins and on Major League Baseball. Chisholm is hitting 325 for the season. That is 21st in the league. Read about that in the Tribune Sports and his hookup with Giants coach Anton Richardson over the weekend in Miami. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.